Hello guys, Furball the Hammy of Friendly Neighborhood Hamsters back again for another Hypixel Skyblock video. Today's video will be targeted towards players who have yet to seriously start Slayers or worse, haven't even started Slayers at all. And if that's the case, I welcome you to my channel which is the home of the Slayer bosses and yes, my entire channel is revolved around Slayers. So yeah, I really love Slayers as you can tell, but for today, the question I will be answering is when you should start doing Slayers. This is especially important for you guys out there who have yet to start Slayers or are still considering whether you should seriously start doing more Slayers. So here's a quick rundown on the useful perks of doing Slayers. If you want a very specific detailed video about the benefits of doing Slayers, Check out the video link in the description, I made a video specifically on the benefits. However, if not, you can just listen to this. The benefits of Slayers basically are Number 1, good combat XP, better than Zealots with the exception of Savan for Slayer grinding. Number 2, it helps you get into good guilds with splashes. Number 3, it gives you access to good items, such as talismans for both mid-game and late-game players. Mana Flux power orbs and wands of healing, mending and restoration, which will be good for dungeons since lifesteal is nerfed. Number 4, it does return money, with the exception of Revenants, the other Slayers will help you earn money. However, there is a downside where due to probability, while I showed that I could make 30 million coins by spending 10 million coins in Slayers, it is unlikely for you to make 3 million coins by just spending 1 million coins in Slayers, because you have to do many many bosses to get those RNG drops to actually boost your profits. And that brings me to my number 1 point. Number 1. A decently high capital. As mentioned earlier, Slayers isn't something where you can drop 1 mil in and suddenly earn money. It requires you to invest millions and millions of coins and estimate that 3 million plus in minimum to see significant profits. Why? Because probability only gets more accurate the more Slayers you do. And that means that you need to do hundreds or even thousands of bosses to triple or even quadruple the coins you spent in Slayers in the first place. And that costs a significant amount of money in the first place to make more money. And this is when you are ready to start doing Slayers is when you realize that you have a lot of disposable income lying around. Preferably around 5 million to 10 million coins that you are okay with spending on Slayers and not saving up for. Be sure to subscribe and to like the video because 75% of you guys are still unsubscribed to my channel and I will tell you why you want to subscribe because at 10,000 subscribers, I will be doing 1,000 tier 4 revenants or 2,500 tier 3 tarantulas and that will be up to you, yes, the one who is watching this video, to decide it. When I eventually reach 10k subscribers, I'll put up a community poll and you guys can vote on it. Number 2 relatively good gear. Slayers, by nature, is late game content. Due to the capital investment required as mentioned in point 1, you also need gear for Slayers, obviously, and the minimum gear you generally need to get significant profits from Slayers is gear that can at least, at the bare minimum, solo tier 3 tarantulas. Because tier 3 tarantulas is by far the most profitable Slayer, followed by tier 4 savant and tier 4 tarantula behind. And in order to kill a tier 3 tarantula relatively easy, you want at least strong dragon armor with an aspect of the dragons with a radiant power orb and at least some talismans. And with that, you should generally be able to start your grind on slayers. Number 3. Patience and Resilience Damn, when did this Hypixel Skyblock channel turn into a value adding channel talking about things like resilience and patience? But it's true, Slayers requires more patience than any other money making method in the game, Zealots included. Why? Because the RNG drops in Slayers are rarer than summoning eyes, and the average coins you get per hour from Slayers includes the coins you get from RNG drops. This means that on average, you will have to do a lot more Slayers for probability to eventually even out. Because as mentioned earlier, probability gets better over time. The more you do, the more accurate you get. This means that you must do a lot more Slayers to even out the mathematical probability. And if the probability you are trying to even out, for example a Tarantula Talisman, 
which is a low chance in the first place, that means that you will have to do much, much more to get it accurate to its defined drop chance. For example, if you are interested in making short-term money, Slayers is not going to be your thing. But if you want to make money by just spending 1-2 to two hours on a money-making methods, Zealots, wood chopping, farming, and fishing are way better methods that can help you get money in the short run. But for Slayers, you require to do hundreds or even thousands of bosses before you start seeing results and before you actually start seeing your money to grow and to before to actually start seeing the fact that you profit from Slayers. And this requires a lot of patience and resilience to sit through hundreds of bosses. Number 4. When you are ready to take Skyblock seriously. It makes sense, you see. If you want to join these late and endgame guilds, you need the Slayer XP. And there's really no point in doing Slayers early on in your Skyblock career, because you probably will only be able to do Tier 2s, which will still profit, but its profits are much weaker as compared to Tier 3s and Tier 3 Tarantula. And 2, you don't get much XP from it to actually count and to be relevant in your Slayer XP. Honestly, let's be honest, right? Most top Skyblock guilds have Slayer requirements. And that means that if you are ready to be competitive in Skyblock and to actually compete yourself with other good Skyblock players, that is the point where you start to realize that, hey, I should be doing Slayers. Because in order to be recognized, you need to have some degree of Slayers. Because number one, Slayers has talismans. And in order to be relevant in the game, you have to have all talismans, if not most talismans. And Slayers has a good handful of talismans. Meaning that if you aren't very high up in your Slayers, you probably will be missing out in a lot of damage because of the lack of talismans. And by the time you're ready to take Skyblock seriously, that is the point in time where you should start considering doing Slayers. And last but not least, we have come to reason number 5. You are tired of competing with other players. Zealots, Dragons, and even Wood Chopping are competitive especially in a full lobby, and if you hate competition for coins, Slayers will be your best bet. Yes, people may be screaming at each other when you are in at a spider's den because people steal mini bosses and whatsoever, but bear in mind that the people who are grinding tarantulas with you cannot outright steal your coins. Think about it, in Zealots, people can use the aspect of the dragon's ability to blow your special Zealot away and outright steal 600,000 coins from you. And for dragons, players who get a higher ranking are more likely to get a good drop. Meaning if you aren't first, you are losing the chances of getting good loot. And for wood, it isn't really that significant if you like to grind wood, continue grinding wood, because even if there are competition in the wood area, unless two people go barking up the same tree, you wouldn't really be losing a lot of coins or a lot of time. And for slayers on the other hand, at worst, your mini boss gets stolen, you feel kind of triggered, but really, practically speaking, you only lose 5 to 10 seconds of your time if someone steals your mini boss, as compared to losing an Ender Dragon pet to first place, or to worse, losing a summoning eye to some douchebag who decides to aspect of the dragons, your special zealot, into the oblivion and to steal it from you. And now, after explaining that, Realize that Slayers isn't too bad. Yeah, sure, people can scream at you, people can steal your mini bosses, but people can't outright steal millions of coins from you. And that is what I really enjoy about Slayers. Because even if there's competition, the competition doesn't hurt me if I don't do that well in it. So yeah, and I think if you enjoy lesser competition and lesser consequences if you lose to the competition, Slayers is actually quite interesting and you should try it out. So yeah, those are basically the signs that you are ready to grind Slayers. And I hope that I convinced you guys to start doing Slayers because a Slayer day keeps the slash G kick command away. So be sure to do your daily Slayer bosses. And this is Furball the Hammy, your Slayer Maniac, signing out.